Imagine it's your first day in the gym and you're somebody who has not done any kind of physical training ever in your life. And what if as a trainer, I ask you to do a 250 pound deadlift? Maybe you might have the strength, but what will happen to most people? I want you to answer this question to yourself and think about what is happening with you when you do things on the guitar which is way outside your playing level. Like you know in this series of lessons I've been talking to you about the top mistakes that I always find beginner to intermediate guitar players make which I have made myself in the past which I want to share with you so that you can learn from these experiences and not fall into this trap. And one of the other top mistakes that I always see beginner to intermediate guitarists make is not customizing the learning material to their playing level. Now, what do I mean by customizing? Just like the example of the high deadlift for a beginner, as a beginner player, your fingers need to get used to doing some kind of motions and some kind of movements. They need to have a certain level of strength, dexterity and flexibility in order to take up challenging things to do on the instrument. And if you try to push them right at the beginning because you saw somebody else doing something else on the guitar, you saw some video where somebody was teaching some chord progressions and you immediately try those out, what is going to be the result? It will be an absolute uh, train wreck and there is no two ways about it. If you think about it, most people are going to fail unless you are highly naturally inclined towards uh, moving your fingers in a certain way, which is very rare. I haven't seen that with many uh, beginner students. So you have to stay away from this mistake. You have to stop thinking that if somebody else is teaching you something which they can do well, you have to consider for how long have they been learning? What are the methods they used for learning? And can you, is that thing really meant for you to be or done at this stage of your playing? If not, then you have to avoid it. You have to instead focus on the things that you can do at this stage or maybe customize that same thing which somebody is showing you, customize that, bringing down, bring it down to your own playing level so that you can feel confident about achieving something on the guitar. So remember this thing, don't make this mistake. You go on YouTube and you pick up your favorite song to learn and somebody is showing you some ways to play chords. Remember that these are not the only ways of doing things. It is happening because there is a lot of myth and lack of information amongst people who are teaching guitar. Because of that, they try to give um, you know one size fits all stuff to everybody. Whereas you have to understand what is right for you at this stage of your learning and you have to customize the material that you learn and bring it down to your level so that you can feel confident about playing. Along with that, you should keep challenging yourself to learn further by including things that are slightly outside your comfort zone, but not so much that it makes your fingers hurt and um, you know completely you make you feel like you cannot achieve it and eventually make you quit the instrument. So these are the kind of feelings that you have to stay away from. So like we spoke about so many other beginner mistakes that I covered in the previous lessons in this series, please ensure that you don't make this mistake of trying to play too hard, um, you know, things that are too, uh, too much outside your comfort zone right in the beginning. It is like you going to a kindergarten, you being a small kid who is in a kindergarten and somebody is asking you to uh, give a speech on a particular topic or write an essay on a particular topic. Is it going to happen? It is not going to happen. You're going to fail at it. So instead, what can you do? You can teach the kid to say the words first, say the letters first, understand words, understand stories. Just like that, as a guitar player, you need a teacher who can tell you what is the right thing for you to do at this stage and how can you get to those other things that you want to play in a faster period of time. And that will happen, trust me, when you follow the right methods of learning when you customize things to your learning level and according to what you want to do on the instrument when you keep working on those and it doesn't take a very long time because you build a foundation a strong foundation and from there on it's very easy for you to push and reach to what things you want to play on the instrument so if, make sure that you avoid this mistake of taking up things that are too hard for you to play in the initial days of your playing and instead focus on customizing everything to your playing level 
so that you can enjoy the music that you are playing and then at the same time you can keep pushing yourself to improve further and make gains in your playing if you're having a hard time finding out how to customize things on your, on the instrument to your playing level then i highly recommend you book a free trial lesson with me uh, go to learnguitaronline.in and book a trial lesson and i will help you understand how to do these things so make sure you don't make this mistake that all beginners make and you can speed up your progress by avoiding this one thing this is dhanesh again from learnguitaronline.in and i'll see you at your next lesson